Hello and good afternoon. Here is the news at four. First, the highlights. Lagos State Government sustains religious harmony through constant engagement. OPEC confirms increase in Nigeria's average daily crude oil production. On the 14, Ukrainian president halts international events as Russian troops push into the northeastern region. And in sports, President Tinubu lords Nigeria's tennis star Arunok Quadri over ITTF Africa Cup title. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. Lagos State Government has been able to sustain and maintain religious harmony in the state through constant engagement and establishment of Nigeria Inter-Religious Council, NIREC. Commissioner for Home Affairs, Ibrahim Layode, gave this hint at the ministerial press briefing at Alausa to commemorate the first anniversary of Governor Babajide Sonwolu's second term in office. Layode also noted that with the establishment of the Lagos State Muslim and Christian Pilgrims Welfare Boards, Hajj operations and pilgrimages to Jerusalem and others have remained seamless. The commissioner said in the last one year, the ministry received awards for the most disciplined state during the Hajj exercise and another for good conduct for pilgrims from Africa non-Arab countries for exemplary behavior and cooperation with the service provided in Muna and Arafat. Due to the cosmopolitan nature of Lagos, the state adopted the day to promote religious tolerance and develop the accommodative mindset of individuals. To commemorate the day, religious leaders, scholars, and professionals are like are invited to discuss choosing topic issues that border on tolerance the list of the participants cut across students youth religious organization and other people etc <laughs> Lagos State Government has advised potential real estate investors to always check the registration portal of its real estate regulatory authority, Lazrera, via its website on www.lazrera.lagosstate.gov.ng for the list of registered individuals and organizations before committing to any real estate business transaction in Lagos. Special Advisor to Lagos State Governor on Housing, Barakat Odunoga Bakari, gave this advice at the 2024 Ministerial Press Briefing held at the Bagauda Kauto Press Center, Nalausa Ikeja. Responding to the growing concerns raised over unregistered real estate practitioners and the proliferation of imposters, Odunoga Bakari emphasized the importance of due diligence, especially in areas where new estates and construction works were ongoing. She also underscored the effectiveness of Lazarus regulatory measures, noting that the agency's database currently boasts 925 registered individuals and organizations, with an additional 2,550 practitioners in the process of enrollment. Nigeria's inflation rate has increased to 33.69% in April 2024, up from 33.20% recorded in March 2024. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, said this represents a month of a m- over month increase of 0.49% points in the headline inflation rate. According to reports, food inflation has been reduced by 1.11% caused by a fall in the rate of increase in the average prices of basic food commodities. 
And now to the rest of the stories. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, says Nigeria's average daily crude oil production increased to 1.28 million barrels per day in April. This was contained in its latest monthly oil market report, which indicates that Nigeria's current output marks a 4.07% increase from the 1.23 million barrels per day recorded in March. OPEC noted that this represents the month, first month-on-month -month production growth in the year. With this volume of production, Nigeria has reclaimed its position as the largest oil producer in Africa, with Algeria falling closely in second place with an output of 907,000 barrels per day. The federal government has announced a series of activities leading to the anticipated nationwide deployment of its presidential compressed natural gas CNG buses and tricycles to replace the petrol-powered ones on May 29. This is days after the Federal Executive Council, chaired by President Bola Tinubu, mandated all government ministries, departments and agencies to procure only vehicles and generators powered by the CNG Initiative. Program Director of the Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative, Michael Uluagbimi, said the government will embark on an extensive pre-launch itinerary aimed at engaging stakeholders and showcasing critical gas supply projects to foster sustainable energy solutions and reducing carbon emissions. And now to foreign news. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has halted all international events scheduled for the coming days as Russian troops push into the northeastern Kharkiv region. It came days after Ukraine's top military general warned that fighting had significantly worsened in Kharkiv as Russia claimed to have captured four farther villages and it surprised cross-border offensive. More than two years into Russia's invasion of Ukraine, President Zelensky has fought to keep attention on Kyiv's military efforts to deter advances from Moscow by strengthening ties with allies. Anyway, from all that, now sports. President Bola Tinubu has extended his congratulatory message to Nigeria's table tennis star, Aruna Quadri, for winning the International Table Tennis Federation ITTF Africa Cup title. Securing a convincing victory in the final match of the 2024 ITTF Africa Cup held in Rwanda. Quadri has not only reclaimed the title, but also solidified his position as the champion of table tennis in Africa. In a statement by Special Advisor Ajuri Ngilali, President Tinubu praises the table tennis maestro for his relentless pursuit of excellence, highlighting Quadri's unwavering determination to succeed in the face of challenges. He assured Nigerians that his administration remains steadfast in broadening the scope of opportunities across various fields for Nigeria's talented youth. And just before we go, please do not drive beyond a specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, on YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songwulu administration engaged independent managers for the management of the Lagos theatres? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government has been able to sustain and maintain religious harmony in the state through constant engagement and establishment of Nigeria Interreligious Council NIREC. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has confirmed that Nigeria's average daily crude oil production increased to 1.28 million barrels per day in April. We also told you that Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has halted all international events scheduled for the coming days as Russian troops push into the northeastern Kharkiv region.
And in sports, President Bola Tinubu has extended his congratulatory message to Nigeria's table tennis star, Aruna Quadri, for winning the International Table Tennis Federation, ITTF, Africa Cup title. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewale Uluoporoku. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good afternoon.